This is an oldie but a goodie and I want to listen to this track because I'm hoping it will introduce some of my viewers to one of the greatest metal bands of all time. Tonight I'm going to listen to Pantera and Cowboys from Hell. I'm going to react to a live version as I normally do because if you were going to do the original music video then you might as well just go and listen to it on your own on Spotify and what's the point in that? Chin chin. Look at that crowd, man. Crazy. They call us the Cowboys from here. But what I want to hear right now is the people of Moscow. Hey, 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 go to it! 30 years ago. Is that not one of the sickest intros? Not only of a specific song, but this was the first track on the Cowboys from Hell album. This was the first time I ever listened to Pantera and it just blew my fucking tits off. I didn't know what to expect. I heard it. I heard that opening riff and I was just like, my, my jaw just dropped on the floor. And every time I hear this song, it just takes me back to that very first moment of listening to this band and this album. Also, if you're a guitar player, whether you're new or intermediate or advanced, the opening riff is is such a wicked guitar um, lick to play. It's really good for your pinky finger and building up the dexterity in all four fingers, to be honest with you, an alternate picking and stuff. It's an awesome little lick to play, build up the beats per minute and get proper, proper tasty at it. <laughs> On the subject of Dime, I got into this band in, unfortunately, after he passed away, around 2004, and I used to be a subscriber to Total Guitar magazine, so naturally Pantera songs would always appear in numerous issues and tablature of some of their songs, and I never really used to listen to it. I wasn't massively into like heavy guitar music around that period of time. But I remember when he passed away, they brought out sort of like a, 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 a specific issue, which was a dedication to him. And I believe the track that they put in that specific issue um, was This Love. And bearing in mind, I'd never heard the band before, really. I might have heard them in passing, but I'd never really give them the dedicated attention that they deserved. I was learning the track and listening to purely the um, the, the rhythm track of the song there was no vocals and things like that so i was listening to this opening like this love that the gorgeous um guitar opening guitar sequence with uh chorus effect on it and stuff and i started learning that and then it got into the chorus it was like 
Bearing in mind, again, I still hadn't heard any vocals. I hadn't heard Phil Anselmo sing or anything like that. And I just kept listening to all of these riffs and things. And I was going back through past issues and going, OK, I really like that song. It's really cool to play or learn to play. Of course, I wasn't learning the solos and stuff from, from Dime. I could never learn that shit. Um, but then I started revisiting more of my other Total Guitar issues. I'm like, OK, what's this song called? Walk. What's this song called? I'm Broken, Five Minutes Alone, etc., etc. And then I thought, OK, let's actually fucking listen to this band. And when I chucked on the Cowboys from Hell um, record and this opening track, I was just like, oh, my God. As a rhythm section with Vinny and Rex, it was metal music to me that I hadn't really heard before in that it was just as heavy as fuck, but it just had groove and funk and almost like disco-esque vibe. That might sound really weird. And of course, with Dimebag's playing, which was just, it, it was just, I hadn't really heard anything like it outside of sort of um, like Jimi Hendrix and, and Van Halen and stuff. It was just flawless. Every single thing that he did, he was just tight. He had um, just crazy things that he used to just do that no one else could replicate or sound like. It's, it's, it is like Jimi Hendrix. It's like as much as you could sort of learn his stuff and try and replicate it down to a T, no one's going to sound like Jimi. And I feel that same way about Dime. No one's ever going to sound like him. You can try your hardest and 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 sit and listen and re-listen to every single record and nuance of his playing, but no one sounds like Dime. And then, of course, with Phil as well, who is <clears throat> obviously a, a, a new introduction to the band at this point, because I think prior to Cowboys from Hell, who most um, diehard Pantera fans will consider to be the proper debut album of Pantera, because prior to that, they'd released a few records, but I believe they were sort of like hair metal, glam metal. And I'll be honest with you, I've never listened to them um, purely because of that. It's not my cup of tea. So this was sort of like the reincarnation of the band with Phil in there. And it just add, added a different, um, more angst and heaviness to it. And I, I don't know, I just, I, I love this band. I think they're, incredible um i can't praise them enough the the yeah as i said at the start one of the greatest metal bands of all time in my opinion not going to do what I normally do which is some sort of summary at the end of the video because quite frankly that pisses on 99.9% .9 of the music you will ever listen to. So let me know in the comments section below what you think of this track and despite me knowing their entire back catalogue inside out I'd be more than happy to react to another Pantera song if there's enough demand for it but until next time thank you so much for watching look after yourselves hopefully I'll see you very soon bye for now people.